Hi there and welcome to my channel. So we are now heading into the fall season here on the prairies. The outdoor gardening season has pretty much come to an end. Today we are going to start a whole bunch of uh, different vegetables. I'm going to go through some of the plants that I brought indoors from my garden and show you how I'm going to be keeping them alive throughout the winter. So I'm going to be starting a series of videos on how to grow food indoors. I've already got quite a few things started that we're going to um, go through today. I'm going to be growing tomatoes, peppers. I have a couple of little cucumbers here already sprouting that I'm excited to try growing indoors. I've got a variety of peppers going here. Um, I have three or four different kinds of lettuces, so I'm going to show you how to get those started. And also I have some of my plants that I've brought indoors that I'm going to try and uh, pot up and keep alive throughout the winter. I got some coleuses, I got some strawberries, some herbs. So let's dive into how to start growing food indoors during the winter and uh, I'll show you how to get things going. So one of the plants that I have brought in from my outdoor garden to try and uh, grow over the winter is this strawberry plant here. So I had started strawberries from seed last winter and uh, moved them out to a container. They've been doing good all summer growing in a container but then I made uh, a decision to move them to uh, the ground so I have them move some of them in with my asparagus plants and decided to try and bring one of these indoors to uh, see if I could keep it alive over the winter uh, growing it hydroponically just in water and nutrients. I just removed the this one strawberry plant from the soil gave the roots um, a good rinse tried to get as much dirt off as possible once I had cleaned off the roots, I brought it in and got one of my containers set up with some hydroponic nutrients and put the plant in and I was able to pull just a few of the roots through so that they um, can reach those nutrients and start drinking and hopefully keep the plant alive. So here is the strawberry plant about uh, two or three weeks later. And as you can see, there is a lot of roots coming out. You can see those. They're reaching down to those uh, nutrients that are in the water and the plant is growing. And I can even see that there's some, some blooms coming on them. So I will keep you updated throughout the winter to see if we get any strawberries off of this plant. So the tomato and pepper cuttings that I brought indoors to try and root in water did not um, work out. So I'm going to be just be growing my tomatoes and my peppers from seed. But what did work out really well was some cuttings from my coleus and impatience here. As you can see, there's a pile of roots going. I'm going to plant these up in soil and keep these as indoor house plants throughout the winter. Probably have to keep them trimmed and pruned down because they will probably grow, especially the coleus. And then when it comes time early spring, I'll start taking cuttings from these plants and getting them rooted and ready to uh, move outdoors again next spring. So the first thing I'm going to get planted up here for you today is some tomatoes. And and I'm going to be using my arrow garden here to um, grow some tiny tims. So I'm going to put two plants here in my arrow garden. But I'm also going to use this light and the arrow and the space under the light here to start some other seeds. I want to try two other tomatoes that are determinant. So they maybe be a, a little bigger. So I'm going to try uh, the uh, Scotia tomato and this one's called the Russian Saskatchewan. They are determinant tomatoes that I'm thinking might be a little bit too big. I have tried the Russian Saskatchewan under the Aero Garden lights and it, um, it kind of got a little bit too big. So I think the Tiny Tims will be a good dwarf type tomato to grow here. So what I've done is I'm just leaving two holes open here on my Aero Garden for the Tiny Tims. I've covered up the other holes with some black electrician tape so that no light gets in and no LJ grows. But I will use 
this space to start some more seeds. So my arrow garden is about four years old and when you first purchase one you get some special growing pods that fit into these plastic holders. You get some um, miracle Grow nutrients that you add to the water. Of course I used all those up that first year of growing and now uh, rather than ordering replacement pods and nutrients I've kind of come up with a way of of using my um, other hydroponic items and modifying uh, them so that they work in the arrow garden. So I got my rock wall shoved into this container. I've got it soaking in water to get a bunch of moisture built up in there and then I'm just going to put it into the arrow garden these two and put some of my Tiny Tim seeds in there. The other ones that I want to get started I will use the rock wall again and I just have these little plastic shot glasses that kind of hold them and keep them steady. We'll plant some seeds up into these. Make sure you write on here what they are. And then we can just set them up here under the lights once we get everything planted. This works as a great seed starter. You can fit quite a few in here to start with. Of course, once these tomato plants get growing and spreading, then you know, you'll lose that area. But I'm going to take advantage of it now when we're starting our seeds and use this as a, as a seed starter. So one of the my favorite things to grow indoors in the winter is lettuces and I think it's one of the easiest things to grow um, and you can grow a whole variety of different lettuces, spinach, um, arugula and they do really well using the hydroponic method. So my favorite vessel here to use now is this three liter Rubbermaid tub. So I just purchased it at uh, Walmart I believe. You can pretty much find these anywhere. I'm using a two inch net cup and just cut through holes so I can fit four of these into one um, lid and grow four different kinds of lettuces. So following the same steps that I did with my tomato seeds I have just taken these little pieces of Rockwell, put a couple seeds in, some tape to mark what type of seed I'm growing in there. I got the four lettuces started and I will use my arrow garden here with the lights to get those started. And we should see some sprouting within a few days and once they have uh, grown and got a good root system going here you'll start to see some roots coming out from the bottom of the rock well. They'll be ready to set up into this container. So we can watch for that on the next video. It has been 10 days since I started these pepper seeds. I have a variety, I think five different varieties of peppers, some hot, some, some sweets. So I just received a grow tent in the mail today. This is the first time I've ever used one. So I'm very excited to get it set up and I'm hoping that my little cucumbers will have a nice space to grow and I will get some cucumbers this winter. So please don't forget if you haven't already to subscribe to the channel and uh, watch for those videos on growing food indoors using a grow tent. So a lot of these peppers as you will see are just starting to sprout. Some of them are a little slower than others. Uh, they usually take between 10 to 20 days and we are at day 10 right now. So as you can see here, the cucumbers are already shooting out roots through the bottom of this rock wall. So they are just about ready to get set up into uh, their hydroponic containers. And my favorite container to do peppers, and I'm going to be doing some tomatoes and the cucumbers, are these uh, Folgers containers. They're a nice size. They hold a good amount of nutrient water. The lids are very easy to cut through with a X-Acto knife or a utility knife. I'm using a three inch net cup in each of them. So as you can see in the background, I have quite a few of them. Not particularly my favorite coffee to drink, but I buy this kind of coffee so I can have these containers. So if you're looking for something that um, would be good to grow uh, hydroponically, I recommend these. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial video on how to start growing indoors during the winter 
and you will give indoor growing a try. So please don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe so that you don't miss out on the next video. Thanks for watching.